Alrighty viewers, my money gamer here and I'm back with more Dark Cloud. Last time I said I would get some stuff off screen and um went ahead and replenished our repair powder, as always. Uh got a little bit more premium chickens just because I think I'm gonna start replacing them for the cheese now. Uh real quick though, I wanted to show something. I don't know if he'll say it again, but I was talking to the fairy king and actually they said hi. And he's like getting a feel for how difficult the gallery of time is, it gets harder. Michael, believe in your ability. Uh, you can make it through. So, as you go further and further, I guess this dialogue changes a little bit. I didn't realize that, but, um... I'm sure we wouldn't have missed any, um... Dialogue, for the most part. I'm pretty sure it just depends on how many of the, um... Ge Georama crap you get while you're going through. By the way, I was curious. Yeah, I was just seeing if there was anything about the enemies I could tell you, but now there's not, not really anything useful, at least. Anyway, um... Heading back into the Gallery of Time. Depending on what floor we're on, we're gonna be seeing something new. Nope, 151 years, still nothing new yet. Yes, yeah, still nothing new yet. Like I said, this is a long dungeon now. What do we got? We got a spade. Should be weak against uh, a bully. At least good enough. I'm not sure why I keep using Michael instead of switching to other useful characters. I think it's just because a part of me really wants to uh, try and do that. Looks like we got mainly card enemies on this floor. That can't be bad. how while you're getting your ass kicked, you're somehow able to turn around and block. <laughs> anyway, since I took a hit, let's go ahead and heal up here real quick. What do we got? We got another spade. System. I know I need to stop talking about it so much, but they changed up the weapon build-up system in um, Dark Cloud 2, where every time your weapon levels up, instead of, like, if you don't have anything on it, it doesn't get any useful stats. Uh, in this one... Fuck! Um, you know, you have to have something on it, or it gets nothing when it levels up. In that game... All you have to do is level it up, and then you'll get these points that you can put into it so that you can actually use stuff to level it up. That's the main difference. Something tells me from what she's throwing at me that she's not going to be weak against holy, so let's switch up to fire. After repairing our weapon. fire. Hmm. And what attributes do I need on this? None there. If I'm gonna 
to go with this approach, I do. Uh, let's put it back to holy and see if I'm right that that won't do any damage. Oh no, that's actually doing better. So despite the fact that what she's shooting at me feels like a, well, it looks like a holy bolt, it's not. Black clouds ahead. Hmm. It has a uh, Skyward Sword Center where it's like, I know you've seen these black walls. That Zillion times, but we're still gonna tell you about him again. <laughs> Go ahead and heal up a little bit. I think that worked out way better than it could have. as like, um, I think actually 99 times, I wouldn't be surprised. Um, let me see something, I'm trying to remember if the picture in the book has something, like has, shows like his weapons, that like guy's, you know, that made the book's weapon and shows it like super high or not. Shows him with the uh, ultimate weapon in the weaponry, which is kind of funny. Shows one of his other swords though as plus ten, so yeah, it's kind of what I suspected. Here's the breakdown of something. You know how I said that status breaking your weapons is stupid? Um, uh, it says that only 60% of the status broken weapon is transferred. But every single time that I've ever broke down a weapon and tried putting it into another one, um, it doesn't really seem like it's that, you know important to do and it says that you know you can continue upgrading past the stat fuck I almost hit the wrong button the status but you know break limit which is five so they make it sound like you know it's something that you should do but I don't see why you would I mean I guess I could start breaking down these I mean I'm never going to upgrade this weapon But I want to save it first and see if it was really worth it. You know, status breakdown, uh, the crystal knife and the sax. I mean, the problem is if I lose the weapon forever, you know, and can never show off its upgrades, which is not really a problem, because if I did bonus episodes of all the upgrades in this game, this Let's Play would have, like, 2,000 parts. I'm not even kidding, because, like, you'd have to find every weapon in the game, which could take forever. And I'm just kidding, I would not put all that on screen, but you know, I'm just saying, like, there would just be so many hours of work I'd have to put into this to do that. 
that it probably just would not be worth it in the long haul. No offense, of course, I'm not saying that I don't want to do it just because of how much time it would take me, but because I know for a fact that it would really make for boring uh, videos. So, yeah. I mean, like I said, I'm going to try to show off what weapons I use throughout the game's upgrades, if I can. You know, when I reach the end, but that's about it. I'm not really going to aim to actually um, upgrade every weapon in the game, because that's just impossible. I don't know why I'm bringing that up now, but I just thought it was uh, interesting, so I thought I would... Yeah, fuck you too, you fucking jack fuck that's right next to me. It still won't get hit. Ugh. There you go. Ugh. Really need to cut that out. No, not like actually edit it out, but I need to stop swearing like that much in a row. I know you guys don't care, but I'm, it's really starting to bother me. That's the reason why. I'm like, it's not necessary to say that many words in a row like that. <laughs> oh, there's one enemy left. Should we go over and say hi, or should we just leave? That's the question. Oh, we're only 11 minutes in. Let's go take him out. We have the key anyway, might as well. Yeah, of course, because you went the wrong way, shit for brains. Anyway, let's do that. Says he's gonna stop cussing. Continues right afterwards. Come on, you know you're thinking it. You know, he was the most unique enemy in the dungeon, actually. He was just by himself. <laughs> You can make little funny stories about that. <laughs> Actually, there's no point in healing, because I'll be healed when I leave the dungeon. That's one saving grace, at least. I mean, I guess in a way it would make more sense if you did not get, uh, healed up after leaving the dungeon, but no, you do. Well, I think if you hit two next floor, you won't. But, you know, I'm not gonna do that. That's stupid. Okay, so let's see if you said anything different. Uh, what, do you, what do I have over here that I can... I don't know why I sell it, but I just do it. Save the game real quick. Oh wait, I still need to be in the weapon. Here we go. So we said the crystal knife, which only has an attack of 19, endurance 34, speed 82, advantage 24, also has nothing on it, attributes, bleh, the stuff that I put into it. Uh, to be built up, it would have needed... Oh, 
few things. So I won't feel too bad for doing this. So let's uh, seal 60% weapon into a sphere. Do without attachment. Yeah, it's telling you that because it says you do not want to have anything on it. So let's status break it. Crystal knife plus seven says sphere. Now then. Wow, we have a times two. But this sphere is going to only go here. Nice! So it can t entirely maxes out my attack. And my speed. It puts Ice, Thunder, Wind, and Holy on it. Well then, that makes me confused, because... <sighs> I hate it when I'm wrong, viewers. Because if you look at this, it makes it look like I literally did the right thing by Sisphere at that. But the attack only goes to 68. Level 100 or better. Huh. Well, that's confusing. But let's see. Um, well, I won't be able to tell what needs built up right now. Besides the magic, of course. And the stuff that I just put that in. Two times. Do I want to put ice? Fi well, I don't need any more fire. I can't feel that <laughs> Oh, God. That's priceless. Uh, but, you know, that's not a big deal at all. And yeah, it doesn't have the times to multiplier anymore. So, sis fearing that won't really help me much. Oh, I would hate to sis fear that. Because it's the only weapon that you, it's the only one you get. Does it tell me what level the ones I have inside the um, check-in are? Uh, yeah, would, yeah. Hell, let's take this bone rapier and sisphere it. Well, it's only level 3, isn't it? It won't be able to be sisphere. Yeah. Well, 
hold on to it anyway. Just as a reminder. Believe it or not, I'm pretty sure you can sysphere this. You'll still have the dagger, I mean, you won't lose it permanently, but it'll go back to level 1. But it won't do me any good because I can't put anything else into this weapon. Well, I can, just attributes now only. <laughs> uh, God, this is difficult. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call this episode here. I know it's kind of short, but... Um, that's a lot to take in, what we just did. So, yeah. Oh, by the way... I don't know if you can trade your sisters back and forth with your other characters. Huh. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and keep what we just did on there, because I think it might turn out well for us in the end. Uh, and any and some, some advice for you guys, even though throughout the entire Let's Play I've been saying don't sysphere your weapons, I guess at this time if you have extra weapons that you have up to level 5 because you've been uh, grinding more than me, or at least probably if you've been getting luckier than I have about drops and dungeons and stuff, go ahead and get it up to about level 7. Sysphere it then and put it on the weapon you're going to use for the final boss because I think that's better idea than for you to, um, you know, choose to do um, my approach, which is just put it only on one weapon. You could do this multiple times and put it on all your weapons that you like using. But hey, it's up to you. This is only what I'm doing because I'm doing it for the sake of the Let's Play to show you what that does. But for in walkthroughs and walkthrough sense, I would say go ahead and do it to help you get through this dungeon. Anyway, when we come back, we will continue on through the dungeon and see if we can put together more of the memory and um, figure out what to do next. Tell then, everyone. Bye.